Welcome back to the Moulin de Quinon YouTube page. Today we're going to have a look at the existing floor plans and our proposals for the mill. We hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so following our trip to the mill, we've managed to get some uh, drafting software and we've done some floor plates representing the existing floors. Then we have what is the ground floor entrance at the bottom of the screen. Then we have the first floor, silo section to the rear, sheet to the right. Then we have the second floor. And then we have the third floor, which is in essence just top of the silo section. So we'll go back down to the lower ground or the sous-sol level and just chat about, I suppose, what we can do with the space. Okay, so... So this is obviously the silos, yeah? Yep. And this is a race, so this is where the, the turbine... Yeah, so you've got one race there on the left. And is the other one there? The small narrow section In is here. the second race, yes. Okay. Okay. So I suppose they are dependent on whether we can get permission to reuse what we yeah, whether we turbines to what we do with them. Yes. So, so that's going to be kind of a long haul, really. So there's not a lot we can do with those sections at the moment, is that? No, I suppose we need a technical area somewhere. We don't want to use upper floors. So it makes sense either in you know one of these lower ground levels to use that as a technical area for kit, for heating, plumbing, mm -hmm. boiler, when we determine what we're going to do. But I'm... Could they still be in the same areas? So, I mean, this is a big area, isn't it? I mean, can we put a boiler in there? Can we put other kit in there? Or would it have to be just kept? For... No, you put a boiler in there because, you you know, from the road level, you can have access for fuel. Mm. Obviously, the more central it is, the shorter your distribution lengths are. But, I mean, it could be there. Because obviously we, we've talked about trying to have some kind of like bar come family room come games room. I mean, which would make sense to have it in this area. But we've also talked of, you know, at like a gym area, which, you know, would we look at more of a gym? We could do. Around? I mean, you, you don't really want lines of sight in a gym. You should be focusing on the matter at hand <laughs> rather than the views out and it, it makes sense because that room to the left you know you've got great views of the quinon so mm. that could be the bar and i think what we want to do is take out you know the, the bottoms of the four silos there to open up that floor plate because this is a huge area isn't it i mean if we could get rid of these there's nothing to stop us putting a snooker table in there or, or something like that where this, given it's got the most fabulous views on these sides, you know, not that we smoke cigars, but I was thinking of kind of like a, a cigar lounge kind of yeah. setting, you know? Yeah, no, I think we could. I think you could do that there. And as you say, you've got enough open... I mean, that central section must be, you know, eight metres by six metres. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you get a, certainly a social area there. Yeah. Uh, and then if you do the gym at the lower section down here, yeah, and then like it still gives us areas for some technical rooms. Mm. I mean, I'm not sure kind of what we do with the whether that will just become storage or. Well, it depends if we get the consent for to to for the water rights. Then that's something we can explore later. But mm. okay, so that's a rough plan for the Suso level. Yeah. Shall we go up a level? Yeah. So this is a ground floor, main entrance from the road. Yeah. Obviously it's not a clear floor plate at the moment, but it would need to <laughs> need, need to become one when we <laughs> remove all the kit and equipment. Yeah. To the right again we've got the G area. Mm. So that's really self-contained phase one. But we do have that piece in between which kind of would make a, a, a great kind of utility room. Because I'm kind of thinking like kitchen would be here. 
the the kitchen here and you have a, a utility room from there. Okay. Yeah. Um obviously we we need to put a staircase and that in. Yeah. And that as well, don't we? I mean at the moment they run to the left hand side, but I think that's gonna make make whatever you I mean if you're talking about a kitchen area on this ground level, mm. are you having a lounge here on the opposite end? Yeah. Yeah, I just thought if you, you know, you're going to enter from here, so have some kind of, I don't know, lobby area, hallway area. I think and lounge this side, kitchen, dining room here. Um, well, and a, set, and a central staircase then. So, yeah, I mean, my thoughts were it's either you're going to have to put some kind of staircase here or here. Yeah. I mean, it would probably make sense to have it in the middle because... And in the middle, all the way up to the top, and um, here again, because I mean the the views are just out what? of this world. I mean, and the windows here, I mean, that would be nice as what I would call like a sunroom. So we'll take these walls out on the left, the dividing walls. Yeah. That can become yeah a sunroom off what what would be the lounge then? Yes. Yeah. So you'd have to kind of like a second lounge, but. I mean, the, the views from there are just spectacular. And obviously, we can't punch any windows into here. No, not that, no. Uh, and given the, the rivers here, um, you you could have like a back sunroom, couldn't you, which would just be beautiful. And what do we do with a big silo area in the centre? Well, you did mention, a, um, what was it that I could have? The, the deal if... I kind of went to a colder Brittany rather than a south of France. Well, it's all dependent on whether we get the water rights and whether <laughs> we're creating our own electricity because if we manage to create our own electricity, then this will be like the ready break house and <laughs> yeah. the heating will always be on. And if, <laughs> if that's the case and you've got a lot of electricity, then there's no reason why you couldn't put a pool in that area mm. and then get a heat pump as well. Yeah. So the water is generating electricity to then heat the water in what could be a swimming pool at the lower section of the silo. Which would be pretty spectacular having that off kind of the sunroom, you know, um, because the sunroom would be that kind of outside feel inside and, and then you'd have a pool right near it. I mean, we'd have, if we had a pool there, we'd obviously have to create you know, a, a changing room, a bathroom, we'd have to have some kind of downstairs bathroom and that there and there as well. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a valid point because you've got kitchen, living and sunroom, but no bathroom yeah. at that ground level. So yeah. something we need to think about as well. Yeah, I think, I mean, we've got a doorway through here. So maybe if we had, I don't know, a bathroom or something here. So it's not, you know, binging on the, the house itself, but it's there, it's, it's within a... Yeah short walk to um and certainly if you're in like a dining room area you're kind of just walking through um I, you know I, I kind of want to keep it as open plan and an industrial feel as possible um but i understand as well it, we, we've kind of got to kind of define the areas as well so you know again i was thinking kind of glass metal that kind of Oh, but we're way too far away from interior finishes at the no, moment. No, 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 never too far well, away. Let's from worry about finishes. the main structural thing. So, <laughs> again, so that's a, a you know a rough plan for that area. So, let's have a look at the what the first floor level. Mm. So at the first floor level, we lose the section to the top left. Right. So that's the that's what would be the roof of the office. Yes. Yeah. And again, you got obviously eventually clear floor plates, the silos, mm. and then you've got a room accessible from the main mill, but it's on top of what will become the sheet. So here, I suppose, depends. I mean, if we could get that as a terrace space. For a terrace off of where? Though? Well, this is going to be the first floor. So we're going to have our bedroom on the first floor because I'm not going up to the third floor every night, <laughs> <laughs> not unless we, we install it. We can get a standard stair lift in for you. <laughs> so, I mean, I'd like to kind of have 
our bedroom on this floor. And I was kind of thinking if that could be a terrace, mm -hmm. you could have maybe a bedroom with a terrace there, which would be beautiful. What, so the master bedroom in the silo area? I suppose so, yeah. I mean, I mean, this floor plate, I mean... What do we want? Four separate beds in the master room? <laughs> we need to take these no, walls down. Or... We can take those out, can't we? Yeah. Well, subject to a structural check and some <laughs> yeah. columns and beams, but the other challenge here is there is no floor. Hence the open below comment. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we need to take the walls down, see if the columns are man enough to support the structure. And this, then. This is the area we can't physically see, isn't it? It's got a big concrete wall. Yeah, well, it's got the three dividing walls and they're all enclosed. You can yeah. access it. And this the... is the one where the floor is all totally yes. rotten. Yeah. 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 And then on the front space at the mill, you want two, another two bedrooms or. A bedroom and what kind of working area or do, do we go into that one from this floor yes right okay. you, you would yeah so you could have a bedroom this side and that a bedroom yep could do so could we have this more i don't know open plan more office study kind of uh, yeah yeah i suppose no reason why not it's just otherwise you would be creating I don't know, another bedroom here, but you'd have to also do an internal corridor, wouldn't you? Which you'd yeah. then lose the light. Yeah. Well, you can leave it open and then you've got a, an office area just off the master bedroom and mm. we need to have a look at what configuration like a snook we need. kind of study, <laughs> you know? What configuration we need for the master bedroom. So, so you've really got one bedroom over here, mm. one to the left, a master with potentially a terrace on the left. Yeah. And then at the lower, here's just an open office type area, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And obviously, we, again, it, it depends where we're going to put that staircase. I mean, if it's coming, it would, if it's the same as the lower, it would come up here somewhere, wouldn't it? It would do. I mean, I think from the entrance, from the lower level, Yeah. for me, you want it set back the staircase so you've got that bit of an entry, whereas on yes. the upper level, you perhaps don't need to do that. Yes. You just need to get from first to second floor yeah. so maybe the stairs slightly different but well i think on the lower level as well that staircase is probably going to be the first thing you actually see from the front door so i think it needs to be quite a, a statement yeah. kind of piece well, that, that, again that, that's interior so let's worry about big, well, no, big moves as so. a statement piece I, I, i'm thinking more it's not going to be straight it needs to turn or something yeah. so. okay well let's go up to the upper level So that's the uh, second floor. There is actually the mezzanine above that over half the area, but... Ah, right, okay. Uh, so that probably lends itself with a configuration to, uh, again, another two bedrooms in an open space. But this is where we've talked about, don't we lose the silo oh, from yeah, here? Oh, yeah, we could do, yeah. Because we talked of taking, reducing the level of the silo. Yeah, we, we did, actually, yeah. So, yeah. So what? That that's then a, another terrace then. Yeah. So that's the. So that would then just be the top, wouldn't it? So that. Uh, would... Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, it's going to end up being still as taller than. I know, the, the which we want to there. reduce. Yeah. So again, if all these silo walls can come out. Yeah. And the holes become floors. Yeah. We could make that a terrace. Which off. would be a fabulous terrace. It would be, yeah, with the lines of sight. And yeah, the, and the size of it. Yeah. And the height. Okay. So if that's the case, then on the floor above that, as is current, then that wouldn't exist in the proposed plan. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. So that whole floor would need so to that, come down. That would go. Yeah, if only it was that easy, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, right, so we just... So then on the floor below, below that then... Yep. So what, we would just do two bedrooms there? Well, I, I, Eventually. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think we need any more. I think no. what we want to do is plumb it for an ensuite in each room. Yeah. The timeline of that is something we can determine later, yeah. but... There's no rush for them, is there? No. So you'd mainly use that floor initially to access that terrace if we can get permission to put a terrace there. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, again, it depends on what the Batamac de France say and what they want for yeah. that rear elevation. So, yeah. Right, shall I go away and spend time in a dark room <laughs> trying to draft this up and then we can come back see and what it looks like. see what it looks like? Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So it's taking slightly longer than I thought it would just to try to get to grips with this package and uh, I suppose the original plans that we've made but this again is the Suso level that we have. So what we have is again a entertainment area here mm -hmm. that's almost eight metres wide. Yeah. Uh, we've got the technical area but we wanted a gym here as well didn't we? Yeah, I think if we can, I think that makes sense to try and get a gym area. And move the technical area then? <coughs> well, if possible. I mean, it, it's all dependent on whether we get permission, isn't it, for the, um, for the turbines to be used. Because I don't know how much space a new turbine will take up to you. I mean, I know the turbines in there are gigantic, but I presume the modern one is not so large. And then this, try and get all the technical stuff within here, yeah? Yeah, turbine and tech. Okay. So the slab terrace of is that going to be the like the balcony area? Yeah, I think so. So again, this is I mean it's the Suso, but it's still above ground, right? Because the lower sections on stilts. Yes. So well, before I mean before that, what we're doing we're taking away. So if I can just go to this plan. So we're taking away these yes bottoms of the silos yeah and i think opening that up slightly in this plan yeah yeah so we open up that wall take the bottoms of the silos out to open that space so this will be the bar area mm. uh, this will be entertainment as it says there mm. and then add a toilet in yeah instead of a hole in the ground the only thing we don't have here, which makes access slightly difficult, is a staircase. Ah, yeah. So we need a staircase. Ideally, in that area, don't we? What, we're here? No, they, they can't go there. No, I can't go there. So what, here somewhere? Yeah. Can um, we put a, a um, spiral? Possibly. Because that would be... A little neater in there, wouldn't it? In that corner somewhere? Obviously away from the window. Somewhere there. Yeah. I mean, do, is that the right size or? Well, that well, possibly not. Just drawing a circle. Just looks a little big in that room. That's all. I mean, it's what one point eight diameter, so you've got nine hundred mil treads. Yeah, I mean it's big. It does encroach a lot in that yeah, space, it does. doesn't it? Mm. Uh, okay. Well, well, let's have a look at the dimensions of that later. But if that's yeah. a rough location. And the other thing we need to think of, from memory, I'm sure. It, isn't there a step? Isn't one of these higher? Yeah, uh, there is a step higher. there, yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, so that becomes, we need to get access here somehow, but that's a working plan. Yeah. And as you say over here, the plan would be to get the foss underneath. Yeah. Providing we have the level. Yeah. And I think we need to encase that foss in concrete because of the flood risk. Mm. 
So because of that, if we're building a concrete box, I think it would be good to have a slab over that. And then perhaps when we look at the sheet area, we can, obviously the sheet doesn't exist, it's just a basement here yes. because we're in the sous-sol level. But when we look at the ground floor, then shall we do that now? Yeah. There you go. <gasps> Is so the blue swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Woo! There's a lot of work there to create that on that <laughs> that ground floor. But That's easy. You've done it in minutes. <laughs> now, uh, yeah. So I mean, here we'd be taking out these cross walls from the yep. silo. Okay. These three cross walls. We'd always need to put a concrete floor in. Yeah. And then I think these walls that exist at the moment here in yellow mm. rather than remove them completely we remove them to say one meter 1.2 meters right and then you've got a effectively an above ground indoor pool at 1.1 1.2 1 meters high but it's about eight meters long uh yeah it's about eight by four which is it's fine isn't it it's it's yeah, more than fine. It'll be chilly. <laughs> It'll be chilly if we don't get the turbines working because I'm not going to heat it. But and then here, all this is open. This is conservatory style, isn't it? Yeah. A sunroom off the what would be the formal living room. Yeah. Uh, we've got some notional staircases here that we need to work out up and down. Yeah, I, I kind of think if we can. I mean, they encroach in the middle. I'm just thinking that the floor from walking through, if we can push them back to this wall and have something. Yeah, I think the issue with that, they can go back to the wall, but because we need to create space here, you need to have a half landing there. Yeah. So this here will be a half landing from yeah. there to there. Just so that it feels more natural going, you know, from sat in the lounge through to have dinner or, or yeah. whatever. And then here we've got Split that window so we've got a shower toilet area. It's actually an opening missing there. Ah, so there is, yeah. Uh, we've got a. Let me see if I can. Yeah. So that'll be the storage come utility room. Okay. And then obviously at the other side we've got the, the sheet. Uh, yeah, so again here simply just a one bedroom sheet. Yeah. Entry kitchen I suppose would be here, so it'd be a yeah. entry living space kitchen. Just like a little L shape. En suite. Again we're missing a door here, so Yeah. We might need to recon yeah, one opens out, one opens in, so Yeah. And then and then from here, this terrace that's not shown on this level, but uh, would come from here along. So it can come out here again. So we've got... Yeah, because that area at the back there of the, the Gide bedroom, that's the one that has no roof or anything, isn't it? It's yeah. kind of... Pretty... So we want a door there. Yes. Okay, so we've got the window and then the door in that G area. And we've talked about the terrace. Yes. Okay. So we'll have a look at the floor above. Okay. So this is a master bedroom. I've already given you walk-in wardrobes just to save I'm you just... save you asking for some. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. But there's a lot of work again as there is below to create that. So we've got top left, we've got terrace off the master bedroom. That would be fantastic if we can get that. Because then you've got the bridge views, the Quinon views. Mm. Obviously the master bedroom. There is a a pesky couple of columns because there are columns here. That's right. And yeah. here that we need to see if we can remove while still supporting the floor above. Yeah. So... If not, I'll have to come up with some... Yeah, so the preference would be to try and have that a clear floor plate. If not... We may have to walk around a couple of columns, but we've got walk-in wardrobe, so I'm thinking you've got cabinetry here uh, and, and perhaps here. Yeah. yeah. So this will all be your space. I mean, I'll, 
<laughs> I'll have a small wardrobe here somewhere in the corner. I was just thinking that. Yeah, so that's Donna's walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> and then I've shown the toilet you access through the walk-in wardrobes. Yes. And then here, perhaps what I'm thinking you could do is a mirror door. So it also acts as a mirror for the walk-in wardrobes come changing there. Sounds and good. And then you slide that to access the ensuite. Yes, sounds good. And then we've got our two bedrooms, one on the right hand side above what will become the sheet. Large bedroom, it's very big. Mm. Um, it's nearly another master, the size of it. It is really, nearly another it? master. The challenge here again, you've got really large roof heights as well. Yes. So it's whether we put a ceiling in and because again, if you put keep the roof as a void, it's very difficult to heat. But yes, yeah. I like the open plan area in the middle and I think that will work really well with having the master and yeah you know it, it's that'll be really nice okay yeah I and like then that. on the top of the shop we've got two bedrooms again both with en suites large central staircase and then all this area would become a roof terrace that would be fabulous that would be a fabulous area. Yeah, I mean, if we get consent for that, then... Yeah, yeah. Because it's a good size as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's 60, 60 65 square metres, so... Yeah. But given that we have no real garden space, I mean, we have some in the summer, obviously, when the, the water goes down, but it's not really viable to use is no. it i mean this would be just perfect which we could use all year round yeah no it'd be really nice um so how many bedrooms is that in total then no uh, let's count them so we've got two there yeah three four five yeah so five six plus the sheet. five plus the sheet. yeah for two of us uh, two plus <laughs> plus special guests <laughs> and family, but I think that's enough to send to the architect and get him to. Yes, I mean this is very rough and ready, but get the architect to sketch up the plans and start the preparation of the dossier that we need for the submission. So, but at least he knows what we're thinking now, doesn't he? Move our girl's tail out of the way. Hi, guy. Hi. What do you think? What do you think, kiddo? Are you happy? Huh? And all of it is Argyle's area. And Angus's area. <laughs> well, you can do some isometrics on this as well, perhaps uh, external elevation. So give me another couple of hours. Okay. I'll go away and see what we can do with the elevations. Okie dokie. Looking good. This will allow you some internal views, but let's have a look. <laughs> hey buddy, it was that quick, eh? Yeah, there's no water in the pool, but <laughs> no there water. is a floor. It's a nice floor, yeah. Yeah, so again, that would be, this would be a pool, imagine it like that, that you can't see. So that's an indoor pool, lots of windows on that elevation. Uh, it won't be granite, but obviously these columns need to remain. Yeah. This is going to be the <coughs> toilet area, and then perhaps a technical room for... The pool equipment. Yes, pumps and the like. Or we could put that at a lower level. But mm -hmm. And look at the views out the window. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously slightly different views, more so river views. So this would be the sunroom area? Yes, that would be there, yeah. 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 And then you go through there into the Which lounge. Which will have a stone wall, won't it? We will have a stone wall, yeah, because yeah, that's the... We're going to try and keep that middle external stone face. wall, aren't we? So this is the, as proposed, it's on the ground floor level, but with this package you can create a perspective view. So let's do that from this area. You ready? <laughs> Except it's in the middle of grass instead of water. Well, it is, yeah. I mean, that, that's a bit beyond my capabilities, but... 
It looks good, doesn't it? So again, you've got really the granite mill here. Yeah. I, I mean, this needs to be a roof terrace, but I'm not capable of drawing it as a roof <laughs> terrace with this package. But yeah. And then here you've got some timber clad, just to give it a different finish. And so that one at the top would be if we get the the top roof terrace. Yeah. So this is a top roof terrace, and this is just a concrete wall with tiles, like a rain screen cladding. So it's meant to look like a roof, but it isn't. It's a, a terrace. Okay. Is the plan. Okay. Well, we've done a review of the plans. We've looked at the existing floor plans and we have done some work on the proposed plans. Uh, the package has been relatively useful just so we can understand the spacing and the plans and how the spaces flow. Uh, and even looking at some external isometric plans. So that's enough for us to send that to the architect and let him do his magic. Then we can finalise the dossier. Uh, stay with us, stay tuned. We'll provide updates in due course. As before, please like and subscribe uh, and continue watching. We appreciate your continued support. Thanks.